twisted We don't care about feelings, this shit about business All I see is commas 20, 50, 100, racing to the money Yo, what up, it's us, Doc And Holly And we back again with another video Today we got NBA Youngboy Black Ball from the music industry Link to this in the description box It's down below Shout out Hip Hop mad Madness, you feel me? Let's get into it. Shout out to the gang for requesting this too, if y'all spamming this up. When Drake dropped, everybody and their mama posted this album. Did Thug drops, the whole industry posted. Travis drops, the whole industry posted. Youngboy dropped, and it was not that many. You might say, well, Youngboy don't f with nobody. And, and that's true. Youngboy in the last year has been on collabs with Future, Migos, Nicki Minaj. Did all of them post his album? Did they show the support? I, I think that Youngboy was used in a good capacity for other artists when they needed singles. It kind of shows me how clicky the industry is. If you're a part of the click, they basically hook you out. But if you're not really that clicky with everybody, that's like, and, and he was out. After starting his. Mm. I don't know though. I feel like it's deeper than. Just, oh, you did a song with me, I'm gonna post your album. It's like, if you really, like, you gotta really fuck with a motherfucker, like, down there. Alright. Like, it, it ain't about just doing a song, you know? And like he said, YB well, don't fuck with nobody, so he ain't hitting a motherfucker up like, yo, what up, what, like, what, like, what's good with you, what you want? Like, right. them other people might have closer relationships, that's all I'm saying. And, um, I don't know, the vibe I get from YB is kind of like... Um, you oh. know, I'm I'm not waiting to say I'm gonna I'm not waiting to say too. Like, you know, I don't gotta work with nobody. Like, and if you got that vibe, then people not gonna wanna work with you. Yeah, like, true. if you give off that, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like then they ain't gonna they not not even that they don't wanna work with you, but they not even gonna have you as that thought in their head because they already know like you already said what you want. You yeah, know? like um, I don't need your help type shit. Right. So that's kind of how I thought about it, and then I thought a lot of it kind of happened after the Kevin Gates situation. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, he was like kind of vocal. Not, I don't, he wasn't vocal about it, but the message just was like, I don't fuck with you, don't fuck with, you know. Right, because Gates was saying he got him signed or something like that. Some shit. He just didn't want no, you know, he didn't want to be in no type of connection with his ops, and I thought that's what was happening. It was like, you know, mm -hmm. some type of shit was trying to happen with that, but I could be wrong. But if you're not really that clicky with everybody, that's like, and, and he was wrong. After starting his career at 14 with a microphone that he purchased from a Louisiana Walmart, Youngboy has gone from strength to strength, over time becoming one of the most successful and fiercely adored artists of his generation. Along the way, he's racked up five number ones and plenty of platinum certified projects. Given his accolades, a hip hop layman would be forgiven for thinking that Youngboy's journey to achieve such success had come through being a manufactured product fresh off the major label assembly line. But in fact, it's come in spite of his fractious relationship with his label, Atlantic. And after signing to the world famous conglomerate in 2017, Youngboy quickly returned to doing what he did best and continued to build the hype in preparation for his first studio album until Death Call My Name in 2018. Man, but by the time he was gearing up to release his sophomore project, Top, in September 2020, any hopes of a harmonious relationship right, between them had all but disintegrated. After yeah, having his attempts to buy his masters rejected, in spite of the fact that he offered his mm. next four albums for free, Youngboy would begin to express his displeasure with the label at every opportunity. And if his assessment of the situation is to be believed, it's basically resulted in them attempting to blackball him. Sparked by the removal of his colors mixtape from an Apple Music chart, mm. YB suggested that his label was trying to place roadblocks in the way of his success. I was going number one two weeks straight with a mixtape, so they took it down off the charts. I don't give a f you still can't stop me. He wrote via a YouTube community post. Don't sign to Atlantic. If you an artist, they're not going to support you, especially if you live a certain way. Angered but undeterred, Youngboy has barely taken his foot off the gas since and went on the offensive once more during a defiant track with Birdman where he spoke about how they tried to block me out, blackball, but they see me now. And while it can be hard to reconcile the notion of being blackballed oh, with like having 20 out, projects that have entered the top 20 to your name, it turns out that these days, there's more reasons than ever for them to want to take Youngboy down a peg. Recently, the news that Better Than You, his collaborative project with the baby, just sold 30k in the first week, has aroused the suspicion of many. Not least of all, the always inquisitive Joe Budden. Young boy being a part of anything to sell 30,000 a uh, week one looks fishy. I know what he do, and I know what he just finished doing. He just finished beating Drake for the number one album. Then he was tied. He was close for the next five weeks. You know what he do on YouTube. You know what he do. He run the numbers up. They're supposed to get 2.5 million, because you would assume yeah. that. This goes, and then young boy just pops up saying, "Y'all, Atlantic," and now magically, beating Drake. <laughs> that mm. it looks like there's not, there's no support there. Absolutely, no, see, it looked like more than that. It looked like this is stepped on. 
engaged in a cold mm. war with the company that owns his likeness. Wait, elaborate a little bit. I guess he's saying like the label didn't back it. They ain't, I don't know. They ain't like promoted got... like they were supposed to. And somebody blackballed him. Cause that that it was a little crazy. I'm, that I'm that confused. the ba the baby and YB on a mixtape together only sold thirty thousand. Like that was crazy. Oh, okay, okay. It's like you already know why them numbers be you hear me through the roof. Every so why time. did the, why did the YB fans like that's you know what I'm saying? It don't matter that I don't know about that one. Now. Nah, it's it's the why, label too. It ain't just the it ain't just the fans. They got to put that bitch out in front of everybody, like you know. But everybody knows that YB coming with the shit. I don't know. I guess I get what you're saying. Let me say this because I'm only speaking on this point. And I don't want you to say that he could very well much be getting blackballed because. The way his numbers go so crazy that, you know what I'm saying, it don't take much. If he wasn't with no label when he was dropping, his shit would be going so stupid. So he could be getting blackballed because they know his power. So let me say that. Because I don't want them, won't try to think that I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Without but with this label, point... Though, without a label, he ain't going stupid. Without a label, ain't nobody really going stupid. But you need not, the label backing for that uh, extra push to get on the billboards, to get on. Yeah, independent motherfuckers do it, but not to the level that a label would do it. Like, you know what I mean? But right now, even with how he dropping his music, he'll drop they, no promotion sometimes, and it'll go crazy. Or like, you know what I'm saying? True. His label is not saying nothing about the shit he dropping. He's still going crazy. But that shit crazy. do still be having promotion. It's like, once it drop, it's, it's promoted by but the label. Like, you after. Feel me? It don't matter. That first week is they pushing that bitch. Like you mean? Mm. I guess I don't really know. I guess I, I, I only speaking on the album with that he did with the baby. It's like potentially some shit with but, the baby could have. But any any too. any album any collab album he do don't be really doing that good. Well, I don't know the rest of the kids shit. Like you hear me? Yeah. So that's like, really all he. But the baby is a big motherfucker too. But that's what I'm saying. You know he has some stuff going on like. Just not too long ago, and I just I don't I don't be knowing how that make the they fans feel about their music, you know, or if that affects their sales and shit. So that's why I said that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the baby could have had something to do with it being so low, you know. Great, <laughs> that it looks like there's not there's no support there. I don't see it look like more than that. It looked like this is stepped on. <laughs> Engaged in a cold war with the company that owns his likeness, young boy finds himself in a rare position of realizing that his record deal doesn't benefit him at all. Denounced by independent pioneers such as Master P and Russ, Youngboy's deal has been a subject of controversy for years now. And considering that he signed for an alleged 2 million, it's not hard to see why. In fact, his YouTube numbers alone would prove that he's had anything but a fair shake. Over the years, Youngboy's videos have accumulated over 9 billion views. And while Drake has reigned supreme on the other streaming platforms, Youngboy has long been the king of YouTube. NBA Youngboy's YouTube page generates 292 million views a month, revealed academics in a 2021 tweet, which means YouTube pays out his label approximately 1.4 million a month, approximately 16.8 million per year just for his YouTube content. If this is true, it suggests that he's been nothing less than exploited. Oh, that boy going crazy, because he ain't seeing none of that money, I heard. On the shit that he be dropping? On YouTube, they say he don't get none of that money. And they can't, how much did they so just say? So what's his, what's his, um... And that nigga been out for some years. That's <laughs> not right. Eight mil and he ain't seeing none of that. How do, I thought, okay, I'm just confused. How much do he owe them? Don't you owe their ass, didn't you Two know? Two mil, yeah. Two months, he can but go he probably, home. Uh, it's probably an album. Like, you know. He gotta do another album. Uh, no, nah, he probably got a set amount of albums he gotta do. Before you can leave, and you gotta pay that to me. How does this thing work, though? That's the thing. Like, what the fuck do motherfuckers be signing? Because, like, can he go make a YouTube channel and get the blogging on that shit? No, because they own his like. That's no. Y'all gotta. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. That ain't no. Mm -mm. That shit ain't right. Mm -mm. So he ain't, he ain't getting no one, none of this 1.4 million. No. You ain't giving that man nothing? That nigga. Y'all finna have me saying fuck nah. I fuck I don't fuck with Atlanta, but they was was like one point four million. Goddamn. That's a month. That's a month. Sixteen point eight a year. Which means YouTube pays out his label approximately one point four million a month, 
approximately 16.8 million per year just for his YouTube content. If this is true, it suggests that he's been nothing less than exploited. And now it appears that Youngboy is trying his best to be the whistleblower to stop other artists from signing. I would say it's interesting that they take it that perspective because I thought that it was something totally different for why he was like getting blackballed. What you think? I, I thought it was that, that Nene shit that happened. Uh -uh. I don't know. It's like, you know, everybody be getting blackballed after that. Yeah. But now nah, he was going crazy after that. He was going even crazy. Well, I think as you learn the business, you learn how badly you been taken advantage of. I ain't never got paid from YouTube a day in my life. Okay. Make all the money off my YouTube and then give me a small percentage out of my all that slavery, son. But you know that's what we sign up for business. Although he acknowledged that his own youthful naivety and eagerness to sign to a label helped to create the problem, Youngboy's public campaign to get artists to refuse to sign to Atlantic has likely made him public enemy number one in their headquarters. However, it's notable that rather than release this unruly employee as they would with anyone working behind a desk, they've tried everything to hold on to him. In a clear-cut example of why it'd be in their interest to kill his momentum, Academics, who is one of the few media figures that Youngboy talks to at this point, believes that they're now making a concerted effort to clip his commercial wings. If we're Atlantic Records, it makes no sense that we spend and we exhaust every option to send them off the label with the bang, knowing we already control all of his masters. We own it. What? Young boy turned down every deal they, they sent to him. If he drops an album selling another 150, <clears throat> his leverage is so crazy that they either got to go double in the amount of money they offer him now, or they got to let him walk. It's mm. in their best interest that he don't go too crazy, that he could be humbled and uh, think, hey, let me stay with Atlantic. That's so they trying to they trying to turn him down. Yeah, they can't turn up. Yeah, I want to turn up. Ah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. ah. Damn, okay, so they basically trying to shadow ban them, basically. Right, like shot, not necessarily blackball him, but shadow ban him. Because yeah. he can't really be blackballed. His fan base is kind of too strong for that. Yeah. Damn, that's fucked up. So if that nigga do another 150, they going to, you know. They going to let him go. Basically, because he going too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all better run that bitch up. Oh, uh, God. Y'all ass better not be out here in the comments talking about shit. That, them songs better be back to back, okay? Damn. Or they gotta, or they gotta, or they gotta offer him double. No, they gonna have to go even more than that because he ain't gonna take double. He ain't gonna take double. He gonna be like, he need quadruple. He need like 20 mil or some shit. From now, or they gotta let him walk. It's in their best interest that he don't go too crazy, that he could be humbled and think, hey, let me stay with Atlantic. That's why I say he gonna do between 12130 and 170. Atlantic don't want him to be independent. Trust me. Although it seems plausible that Atlantic are looking to smother his hype in fear of losing out on the profits, it should be noted that they don't account for the total sum of the industry. Adamant that the boardrooms will never back him if he doesn't live a certain way, Youngboy has also created a rod for his own back with an unsavory beef that pits him against a fellow heavyweight in the game. In recent times, Youngboy's taken up the mantle from his Never Broke Again signee, Quando Rondo, in order to feud with Lil Durk and the OTF crew. And in recent tracks, he's even slandered the memory of the late King Von, whom Quando's friend, Lil Tim, is widely believed to be responsible for the death of at every opportunity. Unsurprisingly, devoting any energy into besmirching the name of a dead man isn't exactly going to appease corporate higher-ups. However, the other wrinkle comes from the fact that while Youngboy is a notoriously insular artist who rarely does a feature or allows for guest appearances on his mixtapes, Dirk literally works with everybody. As a result, many people believe that when given the choice of which bridge... That's one thing about Dirk. That boy don't work with everybody, literally. Mm -hmm. Like, you go... If I be in the car listening to a, a female tape, right. like, <laughs> and it'll be, it'll be like, like featuring Dirk. I'd be like, 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 what? God damn, that nigga on every fucking thing. And he done had everybody on his shit. So I think he ain't did no song with Wayne. That's about the only motherfucker he let me, no song with. Let me ask a question on this part real quick. Are they trying to, is he trying to say, because when he said that the label don't support you when you live a certain way, is he trying to say they don't want him to be dissing other motherfuckers? Uh, I guess so, but Dirk be dissing other motherfuckers. So. But Dirk be making like, you know, he make like, 
songs for everybody. YB don't do that all the time. It's like, YB got to come back with that old shit that he was coming with. Like, yeah. It's like, you can't have a whole song that be really dedicated to that shit. It's like, damn there, if you got a whole diss song, you got to take lines out that bitch and this got to go in like each song. You it's know? like, Dirk will diss you on a, on a real, like, you feel me, a hit. Like, you feel mm-hmm. me? Like, he'll hop on the song with Drake and still diss your ass. Like, you feel me? All right. <laughs> I thought I thought in that sense he was just kind of trying to say like they don't support the lifestyle you living like they don't want you to be like dissing them back or whatever or saying nothing to them but it's kind of like maybe you be taking pictures with too many guns and shit. Mm, okay, cause that's the only thing I could think of. You can't stop what a motherfucker got going on in their life what they rapping about. You know mm. he been rapping about that shit before they signed them. Mm. That's why y'all signed us. Right, shit. and that's, that's why I'm like that don't even make sense. You ain't supporting lifestyles like that's all you, you know. Yeah. Dirk literally works with everybody. As a result, many people believe that when given the choice of which bridge to burn, artists have sided with Dirkio. You got him and um, Quando and a lot with Dirk. You gotta be a certain type of artist to be able to just be in the middle. If you kicking it like yo brother, so the situation on that, I feel like. So if it's me, don't be in my face with all that, like, and then be with who you know kill my boy. Keep your over there. I ain't. Yeah. What he saying? He basically said fuck with Dirk. He said, um, well, really, he's saying like shit, like if the how Quando Rondo and them, you know, they kill Vaughn or whatever. It's like uh-huh. I'm not finna hang with them if this my boy. Like you feel me? I'm not finna be fucking with them if I know they kill. You feel me? Okay. Cause that's some goofy shit. You ain't finna be in the middle of that. Like you know what I'm saying? Okay. I just didn't know who he was talking about. That's crazy. I ain't know they did the interview with uh, Twenty One and the Act. Next this time. this why this probably why why be this one. Oh. Cause I, I was just thought it was out the blue. But shit. is he just speaking in general though, or is he trying to say he just speaking? He just saying what how the shit go though. Yeah. He not saying nothing say like oh I'm picking sides or nothing in this interview. Basically though, is he? Is Cause he, he do fuck with with dirt. Yeah, but it's okay. crazy because he he used to fuck with YB too. That was the first feature I think the first big feature YB did. Mm. And it was really going crazy. Subsided with Dirkio. You got him and um, Quando and a lot with Dirk. You got to be a certain type of artist to be able to just be in the middle. middle. If you kicking it like a, your brother, so the situation on that, I feel like. So the, if it's me, don't be in my face with all that. Like, and then be with an who you know killed my boy. Keep your over there. I ain't, we ain't doing that. While being ensnared by street politics is one thing, it seems that much of the broader musical community are distancing themselves from Young Boy's side too. And in the estimations of academics, it appears that the King Vaughn situation has made public support for Young Boy a dangerous proposition. When Drake dropped everybody in their mama posted his album, did Thug drops the whole industry posted, Travis drops the whole industry posted, Young Boy dropped, and it was not that many. I, I think that Young Boy was used in a good capacity for other artists when they needed singles. Did they reciprocate? It kind of shows me how clicky the industry is. If you're a part of the click, they basically hook you out. You're then spread thin to save everybody's career and give everybody a moment. But if you're not really that clicky with everybody, they act like and they was up. I'm wondering hmm. if the latest situation with Quando Rondo may affect people showing love, especially industry dudes. Dirk is on fire right now. Dirk was following Young Boy, unfollowed him as soon as his page came back up. I'm wondering if that affects anything. I was told Quando Rondo wasn't getting industry support, and it's kind of a reliable source, because if certain entities or people support him in the industry, it would mean they're going against the other side. The feud which Julio Julio deems as big and potentially volatile as the war between Pac and Biggie, it appears that not only has the beef had the unintended effect of minimizing his list of potential collaborators, but has labels doing calculations as to whether they can sign him. Prone to laying out menacing messages to his enemies and money, young boys all- <laughs> Dude, that's fucked up. That shit crazy because this is kind of like, it's bigger than Big and Pac shit, you feel me? Because this shit is modern day, you feel me? This shit happening right now, like- it's bigger than them niggas, you know? Calculations as to whether they can sign him. Prone to laying out menacing messages to his enemies and money, young boy's also facing a potential seven years behind bars at the moment. As a result, yeah. there's every chance that Dude. if he was even Wait, slightly less all... successful... 
Uh, he'd be seen as damaged goods. What? But with the exception of the, the baby debacle, good? all signs suggest that even if the industry tries to stifle him, the people won't. In October of last year, Youngboy joined the illustrious ranks of Tubac and Lil Wayne to become the third man to score a number one album from behind bars, once again with very little promotion from Atlantic. Respected among his peers that exist beyond the street sphere, it's also been reported that new music with a fully fledged pop star and Lil Nas X could be on the way. Meanwhile, one of the culture's most uncompromising innovators has been doing his part to let the world know that Youngboy is simply misunderstood. Sending love to NBA Youngboy, man, for real. He's such a sweetheart, dude. Like, we kicked it a few times. Like, that's a sweet person, bro. Like, oh, and he's just evil. Like, no, he's like fun. Similarly co-signed by Childish Gambino, who showed his solidarity with Youngboy by changing his Twitter profile to the embattled rapper, NBA has no shortage of powerful admirers. And even if his own label might be doing their utmost to suppress him and create the illusion of downturn and fortunes, it hasn't stopped him from earning his first Grammy nomination with his Tyler collab, What's Your Name? Regarded as such a surefire hitmaker, his reputation now yeah, precedes him right. to such a degree that his features reportedly command a price tag of over 300000 and while this may seem like a lot, it'd be hard to argue with the data behind it. As of February, he'd surpassed both Future and Mr. Platinum with no features himself, J. Cole, in terms of quantity of the RIAA certifications. And even more impressively, he's done it while being 18 years their junior. Left in a unique position where he's both in turmoil and thriving at the exact same time, Youngboy's brand may be toxic, but that doesn't mean for one second that it isn't financially profitable. Set to become a free agent, Youngboy has a chance to cast off the shackles of major label intervention and set a new benchmark for independent artists. So long as his prolific workload is sustained and the fans stay as rapidly behind him as ever, then there's every chance that, blackballed or not, NBA Youngboy can't be stopped. He definitely can't be stopped. That nigga's numbers be going crazy, boy. No promotion. <laughs> Damn, I wonder why Atlantic on that, though. Well, it's because of money, basically. It's all about the money. Let us know how y'all feel about it, man. Drop it down in the comment box below. You hear me? Y'all think why be blackballed, or you think it's just you know what's going on right now? Yeah, what y'all think? Let me know. Drop it down in the comment box below. You feel me? It's Holly S. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Holly S. Yeah. Bitches got it twisted. We don't care about feelings. This shit about business. All I see is commas, twenty fifth and hundred racing to the money.